I want you to open your mouth and bless the Lord for today. Bless him. If you are expectant, if you are certain that he is about to move in your situation, if you are ready for a touch by the mighty hand of God, open your mouth and give Jesus all the praise that you can. Open your mouth and bless him. Open your mouth and adore him. Tell him what he means to you. Tell him what he means to you. Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. There is none like you. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every thought confess that Jesus Christ. His Lord say he is Lord. Can you open your mouth and worship him? His Lord. Amen. Oh, he, he has risen from the dead. He is Lord. Every day shall be.
We do not serve a God that is dead, but a God that is alive. And there is nothing that you cannot do. Visit your people tonight, oh God. Change their stories. Transform their lives. Do a quick walk by your power. Glorify your name. Take away shame and disgrace from their life. Crown them with glory and honor manifest your power in this place and we vow to give you all the glory in Jesus mighty matchless glorious and powerful name we have prayed somebody who is certain for a visitation shout a louder amen now clap your hands and give Jesus praise Great in battle, Jehovah is. Sing it one more time to him. You are the mighty warrior. Whatever battles you have faced, Jesus is about to show up for you. Can you lift your hands? You are the mighty one, mighty one. There is none like you. Jehovah is your name. Come on, shout to God with a voice of triumph. I said, shout with the voice of victory. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready for an encounter tonight? I want you to walk up to two or three people beside you and tell them this service was meant for you. Walk up to two or three persons, tell them this service was meant for you. I bow before your throne. Please take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Bow before your throne. Worship at your feet. I bow before your throne. Glorious God. We bow before your throne. Worship at your feet, bow before your throne, glorious God. Hallelujah. I welcome you to September's miracle service. Rejoice because you know God is about to do great things for you. Hallelujah. Are you ready? You know, there's a popular adage that Gen Z use. They say, God no go shame us. And I prophesy to you today, God no go shame you. I say, God no go shame us today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tell your neighbor, God is not scam that you have not experienced him. You are prophesying to your neighbor. Tell him that you have not experienced him before. 
does not mean he doesn't exist and today you will know that there is a God in heaven clap your hands and give Jesus praise. if I were to stand before an atheist you know who an atheist is somebody that doesn't believe in God there is absolutely nothing that person can do or say to make me stop believing in God there's something about God when you have experienced him beyond theory beyond the knowledge of the Bible when you have experienced God when you have tasted of his power nobody can convince you otherwise hmm? so there is nothing an atheist can say to me that will stop me from believing God in fact I will be the greatest fool to stop believing in God John said that which we have seen first John chapter 1 verse 1 that which we have heard that which we have seen that which we have looked upon and our hands have handled brothers and sisters I stand before you boldly as one that has handled the power the grace and the might of God are you hearing what I'm saying I know this God oh I know him God didn't flash me he called me are you hearing me there are many other people that have been receiving flash flashes from God me God called me I know him I've met him and there's one thing I know about him that he's the creator of the universe and what can you do what can you do Jesus, you are the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change? Jesus, you are over, you are over. Lord and mighty God, you are over. Be seated. There's nothing he cannot do. There's nothing he cannot change. And that's why tonight I want to say two things to you before we get to the word and then we'll pray. You see, this particular miracle service, where is Jehoshaphat? Can you walk on my mic? This particular miracle service, I came with a burden for you to experience God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? yes i personally i took time to pray there's no other miracle service i've been this passionate there's something about god that you need to experience in your life and my assignment today hear me my assignment today is to reposition you in a way that you can receive just because you sit down in church or you are in the presence of god does not guarantee that you will receive so you have to be positioned are you hearing what i'm saying reception in the kingdom is much more about positioning are you hearing what i'm saying you must learn to position yourself in the presence of god to receive yes it is true that in his presence there is the fullness of joy and at his right hand there are pleasures but you can come into his presence and live without experiencing it so my assignment is to position you in a way that you can truly experience the mightiness the greatness and the power of God are you ready tonight so two things I want you to note first of all number one for you to receive from God in a service like this you must be desperate tell your neighbor you must be desperate many of us are still giving me your office face you are giving me the face you you use every monday morning that kind of face will not receive anything from god oh. you must be positioned in such a way that you are desperately in need of god god will only visit a man that uh, is aware of his need for him 
when you leave your divine visitation to chance and to time then you can come for this service and go back the same but i like that as you are here you are desperate you forget about anybody around you and say god if truly this is a miracle service i want to see a miracle in my life and then you position your heart in the area that you want god to move haba the god that we serve the bible the stories in the bibles are just too good to they are, they are, they are too too much to be a lie i wanted to say too good to be true no they are too much to be a lie several people in different generations experiencing the same god are you hearing what i'm saying and the bible says jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever so you must focus your heart on that which you want to receive from him and be desperate enough all through the service from now till the end in fact if you were desperate you would have been expectant since the beginning of the service this the service didn't start now it started since the beginning and everything that has happened from the beginning of the service till now has been a build up to what will happen now are you hearing what i'm saying so you must be desperate you must you must be tired of your current level for once believe god and throw all your weight on him and see whether he will allow you to fall there's a song they used to sing we put our faith in jesus our anchor to the ground our hope and foundation he'll never let you down so you have to carry that mindset that if you throw all your weight on him you cast all your burdens on him and you believe him with beyond every reasonable doubt that god will do something that will cause you to marvel at his power this god is alive oh are you hearing what i'm saying he is alive he's alive he's not the works of man the people in your village serve gods that are made with stones with wood with metal this one nobody made him nobody even knows where he is nobody knew who he was before we all existed as a creation of his if he can create the whole earth in seven days one day is too much for god to change your life are you hearing what i'm saying so you must be desperate many times we are not desperate enough to receive many times actually many times we get used to the atmosphere and you must never get used to the presence of God. As I'm talking now, the person that God will place a heavy miracle on their life, they are seated now or they are following online and today does not even look to them like a day that God will come through for them. That's because God does not announce the day he will come. He just comes. Joseph went to bed a prisoner and by the next day he was a prime minister. Are you, are you ready to receive tonight? so you must be desperate when it is time to pray you pray like your life depends on it even if your attachment or your weak fall as a lady forget about it the blessing that is about to rest on you you can buy 10 of that week you don't believe what i'm saying some of you if your weak fall you say, ah i bought it 45,000, 75,000. is the only hair i have what if God does a miracle that can buy 10 of that week and you don't shake? Are you ready to, are you ready to receive? So when it's time to pray, I'd like you to cry to God. Put yourself and your family before God. Put yourself and your business. Put yourself and your ministry. Put yourself and your health. And say, God, it has to end this night. In fact, be so desperate to receive from God. As a matter of fact, I want you to dare God. Tell God, I don't want to see apostle after the service. Just do it now so that I can live with the testimony. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The woman with the issue of blood did not seek a private meeting with Jesus like Nicodemus. She was not waiting for counseling. She said, if only I may but touch. Some of you will come for this service and you are waiting to see me after the service to receive. You didn't come with faith. Believe me, you didn't come with faith. There's something about your faith that can be positioned in such a way that before we share the grace, you are, you are, you are, you are belleful according to Africans. In Nigeria, we say you don't belleful. Is that true? 
means you are satisfied. You become overwhelmed with the blessings of God and you say, forget, there's no need to say apostle. Let me go. I, I've received everything. And the Bible says when she touched the hem of his garment, the flow of blood was dried up. So be desperate to receive. And then number two, just like some people are already receiving now, as I'm talking, I've not even said anything, but as I'm talking, just because your faith is open, you are already receiving virtue. You are drawing from the grace of God. And many of you will stand up and discover that that sickness is gone. Many of you will stand up and discover that there's been a turnaround in your life. Some of you in this same service, emails, text messages, calls will begin to come in. Are you ready to receive? So I want you to be that desperate and believe God for a touch. Number two, I believe that there's going to be a release of the power of God. Now there's something about the power of God when it rests on your life. You will never be the same. In fact, it literally affects even your physical balance. That is the reason why many people fall when the power of God touches them. It doesn't mean that if you don't fall, the power of God has not touched you, no. But most times, when you come in contact with that high voltage power, it can knock you off your feet. Now, let me say this because for those of us who are here, many people will be slain under the anointing so if it happens that you fall which you will fall many of you amen you don't believe me don't worry well, let's proceed with the service because God wants to put a grace on your life please walk on this sound this is, this is not it at all at all at all so when you fall down now listen to me when people are slain under the anointing it is not just for sure especially sometimes when i demand that they are brought out what is happening to them is likened to a surgical process when a doctor wants to operate on a patient the first thing they will do when they are finished the pre-preparation for the surgery is that they will give you what they call anesthesia anesthesia is a medication that will make your nerves die for a while so you don't feel the pain and then it will make you lose consciousness temporarily because there are some surgeries that you don't need to be awake to see what is happening so as soon as they put that anesthesia in your body you go you sleep and then the doctor walks on you and you have no idea what has happened only for you to wake up and you feel in your body that something has happened is that true uh -huh. so that's what happens when people fall under the anointing what is happening is that God is operating on them for some of them God is checking out diseases he's checking out demons he's breaking generational curses he's uprooting yokes of the enemy for some of them he's imparting grace on their life there is a grace that can come on your life that can rest on your life from God that it takes time to settle in you. Do you understand? There are some food you want to cook, you have to soak soak it first before you cook it. Uh -huh. So when you fall down, what is happening to you is that God is causing the thing to saturate you. So don't rush and stand up. It's not a religious exercise. It's a spiritual reality. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm announcing it so that when people start falling up and down here, just know that it's not for sure. There's something God is doing in your life. Remain under that anointing. And then stand up when you sense that God is done with you. Because you can never stand up the same. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please, where is Jehoshaphat? Let him walk on this sound. Where is he? I'm sorry, people online. Because this sound now is, is going to distort what I'm doing. So when, when, when it happens that the power of God rests on you, and I want you be po to be positioned to receive, when it rests upon you and you find yourself on the ground, don't be embarrassed. God is working on you. You are on God's surgical table. It's either he's removing things or he's fixing things or he's adding things to your life. And I, I have a good news for you. He's doing the three of them. Because for some things to rest on your life, some things must go. Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying? So stay with that consciousness and receive in fullness 
what God is releasing to you. And when you get up on your feet, know in yourself that something has changed. Recently, there was a minister's conference concluded at the Glory Dome, the Dunamis headquarters. And there was a story that one of the guest speakers gave. A white man. I don't know that white men can be that hungry for God. Two years ago, Dr. Paul Enenche visited the United States and came to preach in his church just for one service. And in the middle of the service, he asked Dr. Paul to lay hands on him and impart him. You know, Nigerians will never do that. We are too proud to receive. We are too big. In me, I'm the pastor of the church. Oga, not, none of us is a custodian of all graces. None of us. When you find somebody that has a grace you don't have, humble yourself and receive. Some of you, what will stop you from receiving today is your familiarity with me. You know me now. Amen. And Dr. Paul laid hands on him. You know how Dr. Paul does now. Power! And the guy was under the anointing, flat on the ground for one hour. Receiving and sucking from that grace. He stood up from that impartation and his life changed drastically. In two years, his church grew to thousands. The church is just two years old. They grew to thousands. Somebody blessed him with a private jet and a property, a several acres of poverty, a property in the United States. All of that blessing just by one impartation. And I told myself, there are many pastors that have been traveling to Glory Dome. There are many pastors that have even shake, shook hands with doctor. They've even snapped with him. They've known him for 10 years. Nothing has happened in their life. That's because we, are not sent, we don't know how to receive from God. One impartation. Change. Dr. Paul does not have a private jet. But somebody contacted a grace from him and a private jet came. So what, what a man has to give you spiritually is more than what he has physically. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Peter was not a billionaire, but he told that man, he said, such as I have. Such as I have. Such as I have that can bring an end to 40 years of misery. I want you to really be ready to receive this night. Oh. If you are not ready, you can just go outside and sit down there. But if you are desperately in need of a touch, then your heart must be open. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. So baratama. Fill this temple with your presence. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. With your presence, we wait on you, Lord. We wait on you. Oh, we wait on you. Oh, Lord, we wait on you. We wait on you, Lord. We wait on you. Oh Lord, we wait on you. So with this in mind now, people are already receiving things. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me say a story before I get to the word of God. Years ago, I met a man. In fact, we had not met. We met after the miracles had happened. They called me on the phone. He was on the hospital bed. I prayed for him on the phone. From that hospital bed, he was sent on a course to a foreign country. Right on that hospital bed, his, a letter was released that he was appointed to go for a course. He traveled for that course, returned back to Nigeria. He was promoted. After that promotion, he was sent to be the second in command of a school, an, um, an Air Force school, um, what they call it, Special Forces School. 
From there, they took him to another place. And in two years, before you knew what is happening, in less than two years, he was working with the chief of air staff. We had not met. Phone. I met him when he was already in the air house. As I speak to you now, he's in Brazil. He's in another country now. So if somebody can receive without seeing, you, you are here, you are seated. Or perhaps you are watching me online. Don't allow familiarity or don't, 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 don't get too lazy or distracted to allow God to cheat you from what you want to receive or allow anything to cheat you from what you want to receive. Be desperate enough to receive. You know desperation has a sound. When a man is desperate, you can tell from his prayers. There's, it, people who are not desperate are the ones that pray official prayer. They are the ones that maintain their stees when they are praying. You know stees? They maintain their stees. My friend, throw that stees away and, and receive from God. You can only have stees when God has visited you. Poor man, no get stees. Are you hearing what I'm saying? A broke person does not have stees. When God has beautified your life, that's when you can have stees to maintain. Pray in the spirit for one minute. I'm telling you, people are receiving things already. People are receiving virtues. Grace is arresting on people here. Malahis kapala de moho sopranama. Mashatala baba baba. Hey baba baba shatakaya baba. Hey, oh Lord, we wait on you tonight. We wait on you. Oh Lord, we wait on you. Whatever you are doing in this place, don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. That's the cry of a desperate man. God, whatever you are doing in this place, don't do it without me hey i cry out to you please don't do it god if you are blessing in this place don't do it without me don't do it I see an anointing resting on people. I'm stretching my hands in the name of Jesus. I see fresh fire resting upon people. Before we even get into the miracle service, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire on your prayer life, fresh fire on your altar, fresh fire on your life. Fire that will change the status quo. Let it rest upon you, let it rest upon you. By the power of the Holy Ghost, fresh fire, fresh grace. Step into a new level of grace. You are doing in the spirit. Don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. I see the Lord pouring an oil of favor on eight people, eight people here. I stretch my hands. That oil of favor that compels men and systems to stand by you, to support you. Let it rest upon your life now. Eight of you, let that oil of favor, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. My God, my God, my God, my God. The oil of favor that cancels delay. The oil of favor that breaks strongholds. The oil of favor that breaks the bone of poverty. Let it rest upon your life. Rest upon your business. Rest upon your health. Rest upon your finances. Rest upon your ministry. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace.
It is raining. Pade Kobosa. It's still anointing them. It's still anointing them. All of me. And I can feel it. The latter rain of favor. So ride on Jesus. Hey! We need my way. My God, I feel an anointing here. Until we are well. And we are soaked with a lot of rain. It's a rain of favor. It's falling on somebody. It's falling on that family. It's falling on that young boy, that lady, that woman. It's falling on your life. Things are about to change. The status quo is changing. You may endure for a night, but joy is coming to you today. Your season is about to turn around. Because it will always be like this. The Lord is perfecting what concerns you. Even in this place, He's turning it in your favor. He's turning around. It's a new season. It's a new day. Forget about the pains of yesterday. I'm prophesying to you. Fresh anointing is flowing your way. Hey, receive it now. Receive it. It's even a power and prosperity is coming to you. Trailer loads of favor. It's a new season. Coming to you. It's a new season. It's a new day. Fresh anointing is flowing your way. Season of power and prosperity. It's a new season coming to you. Open your mouth and pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. It's a new season for you. The past is over. A new day has come. The day of your breakthrough has come. The day of your glory has come. The day of power has come to you. The day when God will confirm his word to you with signs and wonders. The day for the manifestation of the promise of God to you. And God visited Sarah as he had promised and God did for her as he had spoken that day has come it's your season it is your time doors are opening for your sake gates are opening everything that has held you down is releasing you hey! my God help a little bit it's a new season is a new day Papa, 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 Papa,
Today is that day that God has designed for your visitation. That season of joblessness has come to an end today. I said that season of joblessness has come to an end today. God is changing things in your life today. He is reorganizing your life. He's restoring your life. Believe it because it is your time. Your ladder will be greater than your past. All things are possible. As I sing, the anointing is resting on people. Possible. All things are possible. They are possible. I'd like you to believe it. All things are possible. Possible. Everything in your life. Possible. Possible. Your ladder will be greater. Your ladder will be greater. Your ladder will be greater. My eyes have seen, my ears have heard. I have seen what the Lord has done. What we waited for today is that day has come to pass. The day for your deliverance. See what the Lord has. Ashe. 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 We are taking him in advance. I just feel like we should take him in advance for what he's already done. Sometimes you need to just thank him in advance. Jesus gave thanks to God before Lazarus rose from the dead. I hope you realize that. 
he stood in the grave of Lazarus and said father I thank you because you always heard me Lazarus was still dead in the grave but Jesus gave thanks before the bread and fish is multiplied Jesus gave thanks Thanksgiving is a quiet way of receiving from him In Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you ready for what God is about to do? Today, your case file has been opened in heaven. Who am I talking to? I said your case file has been opened in heaven. Before this miracle service began, heaven was deliberating on your case. And let me give you a verdict from God that because heaven has sat on your case file, it is your season of favor. It is your season of promotion. It is your season of victory. It is your season of glory. Come on, shout amen like you believe it. Please be seated. We are going to have a great time today. Be seated in the presence of God. Mark chapter 10. I want to tell you two stories from the Bible and then we'll pray. Even while you are seated, just keep receiving. Even while you are streaming from your home, from your office, wherever you are following around the world, just keep receiving. Virtue flowing from the throne of grace into your life. Mark chapter 10. I sense an anointing. I sense a strong anointing resting upon somebody. I sense a strong anointing resting on somebody. You cannot hold it. Your life will never be the same after tonight. He said, Thou exalted my horn as the horn of a unicorn, and I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Fresh from above is resting upon your life. The oil for speed, the oil of gladness, the oil for new levels of grace. Receive it in the name of Jesus. By the end of the service, we are going to sing this song. Huh? It's going to be our Thanksgiving song. So you remind me. Your life will change today. Oh. Do you believe it at all? There's still no desperation in your amen. I said your life will change today. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. How God anointed Jesus. How God anointed Joshua. How God anointed Stephanie. How God anointed Grace with the Holy Ghost and with power. 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 For you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You see all these things happening here yeah? is a sign. It's a sign to you. The same power that is causing these things to happen is the same power that is fixing things in your life. It's the same power that is summoning your helpers wherever they are. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Nothing just happens for nothing. All that you see happening now is a sign. That's the same power that is stretched forth to your life now. And God is doing amazing things. Such that your life will never be the same when you stand up from this place. 
Mark chapter 10 from verse 46 to 52. Just I want I just want to tell you two stories from the Bible and then we'll pray. If you have not written your prayer request, please I challenge you to write it now before we stand up to pray. Write it now. And as you are writing it, just begin to rejoice because this is the last time you will write it. Believe me. The Bible says he answers even before we call. I'd like you to know that even before you write that request, God has already dis dispatched your answers from heaven. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The angel told Daniel, he said, from the day you set your heart to seek God and to humble yourself before God, you've not even started praying. From the day you set your heart, he said, from that day your prayers was heard. Hmm? The one who answers prayer. The one who answers prayer. One more time. The one who answers prayer. The one who answers prayers. The one who answers prayer is your name. Now, just write, my God, my God, something is shifting. Something is shifting. Sing it, hello, 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 hello be thy name. Thy kingdom come. The one who wants us prayer is your name. The one who wants us prayers. The one who wants us prayers. The one who wants us prayers is your name. One more time. The one who wants us prayers. I want you to play full aria aria. Listen, God, jo God just spoke to me now. We are going to start with a prayer request. Huh? I'm giving you two minutes to finish writing. There's an anointing here. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's an anointing. Huh? You are going to play full aria aria. We are going to dance. Huh? Malaba shataka patakaya. You know what I'm seeing? There's a young lady here. You, you, are, you are writing five prayer requests. Huh? You are light skin in complexion. You have written five or you are going to write five prayer requests. And then I saw an angel of the Lord take a pen and tick all the five. That's what I saw. Uh, you are writing it on a piece of paper, not a big piece of paper like a jotter. That's what I'm seeing. Huh? That's what I'm saying. You wrote it and you, you gave space. You write number one, give one space, write number two. That's what I'm saying. Five requests. And I see the angel of the Lord ticking the entire five of them. Are you ready for answers to prayers today? You are not still desperate enough for me, oh. The one who answers prayer, the one... Sing, 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 sing. Let's let's dance. No one says prayers is your name. The one, the one, the one, the one. The one who answers prayers. The one who answers prayers. The one who answers prayers is your name. Hello, hello, hello. I love you, thy name. Thank you, don't call. Thank you, don't call. The one who answers prayers is your name. Hello, hello, be thy name. I love you, thy name. Are you done writing? Huh? 
Are you done writing? Now let's submit the prayer request quick. You see, in a miracle service like this, I move as the anointing moves. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please, ushers, pass the basket. Submit as quick as possible. We are going to pray. There's an, I feel an anointing now. God wants to address that issue first. Then we'll get to the word. Do that quickly. Do that snappy. You have to move quick when the anointing is moving. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You have to move quick when the anointing is moving. Huh? Stand on your feet. We are going to call on the God of heaven. The one who wants us prayer. The one who wants us prayer. The one who wants us prayer. Let's sing that song for two minutes. The one who wants us prayer. The one who wants us prayer. The one who wants us prayer. Now, the one who wants us the one who has prayer, 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 the one who has
<laughs> Go ahead, I give him that shout for 60 seconds. Shout because you know you have the victory. Hallelujah! Hear me? Hallelujah! Listen. Listen. Sometimes the instructions of the Spirit are strange. But that's the pathway to the miraculous. Are you hearing me? Just right now, we were under an intense atmosphere, and all of a sudden, God is switching to praise. And listen, let me teach you something. Move as quick as you sense the anointing move. Are you hearing me? Some of us are too, you are too like lackadacious, laxitatious. No. Move when the anointing moves. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Stretch your hands towards this request. You know what God told me? As we danced, demons left people. Yes. Demons left people. There were deliverances, silence deliverances that happened while we were dancing. I'd like you to stretch your hands towards this request and say to God, if you are God that sits in heaven, turn this request into testimonies. Open your mouth for two minutes and cry. I said that you should be desperate. I spoke to you about being desperate. Now pray like you have lost your mind. I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. You will see the Lord's goodness his mercies and compassion you will see the lord's goodness hallelujah praise i say open your mouth and cry to god Shata <laughs> Shabba baba 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 baba
Use one hand to hold a neighbor and stretch the other hand towards me. Let's agree as a family of faith. In this place, we have heard testimonies again and again of God answering prayers and confirming his word. This service is not any other kind of miracle service. There's something extraordinary about this service. Hold the hands of your neighbor with one hand. Stretch the other hand towards me. And I like your amen to be as loud as possible. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare that this request becomes testimonies. Visit families. Bring an end to shame and disgrace. Roll away the reproach over your people. Let there be promotions. Let there be upliftments. Let there be breakthroughs. Let there be marital settlements. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those trusting you for the fruit of the womb, release it to them now. Release it to them now. Answer them by fire. And let them know that you are God all by yourself. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Shout a believing amen. Clap your hands for the King of Kings. I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Sing it one more time. I, I have seen, seen the Lord's goodness. Even tonight. His mercies and compassion. I have seen, seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise oh, oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me. Oh Lord, you is an old song, but coming with a fresh anointing. Oh Lord, you are You are so good. Oh Lord, you have Oh Lord, you Wave your hands and give Jesus praise. What an atmosphere of his presence. Oh Lord, you have excellent in my life and in this place 
Yeshua Oh Lord you are Please remain standing for a moment the presence of God is so strong in this place In my life Please is there somebody here who is there somebody who here who sells car parts? You you have something to do with sales of car. I don't know whether it's car sales or car parts. Is there somebody like that here? Come. I just saw a very faint vision. Or you have somebody that does that. Please come quickly. I want to prophesy a major breakthrough on that person. You, I, I don't know, either you, you deal with car parts, either you sell car parts or you sell cars, or you have somebody that is into that. Please rush quickly. You see, I, 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 let me teach you something, my beloved people. You move as quick as possible when the anointing is moving. You rush. Are you hearing me? Yeah, you move with speed. All right, so permit me when you see me very fast. That's, that's how the anointing moves. So once I, once I stay, it, it looks like anything connected to you, you rush out quickly. I'm going to pray for all of them, but there's somebody, I think this is car parts. Huh? Then I'm seeing a number. You see, I wanted to preach, oh, it don't change. When you, when you walk with God, eh? If in the classroom, God tell you step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. When you enter the practical or you, the, you enter the field, God can start from step five. Yeah. Are you, don't, don't put God in a box. Just be ready. He's spontaneous. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He can just move in mysterious ways. The Bible says that the wind bloweth where it listed and you cannot tell where it comes from or where it goes it says so is everyone that is led when you are led of this by the spirit you are unpredictable are you hearing what i'm saying philip was sitting in his house the holy spirit spoke to him stand up go down to the south to the road that leads to the desert near the dead sea just like that 12 noon when the sun is shining stand up and go to the desert and the bible says he went there and met a eunuch and you know the encounter that happened. The eunuch received Christ and was baptized. And as soon as the eunuch was baptized, look at the speed of the spirit. The Bible says the spirit caught Philip away that the eunuch did not even see the person that baptized him. You move quickly when the anointing moves. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Even if it does, even if it's not your own, if it looks like your own, rush forward first. It's better that you came forward and they tell you to go back. Sometimes you may come and the Holy Ghost may show mercy and speak to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? In 2014, I was in a crusade. God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman, was ministering in Nasarawa State University. Over 2,000 people, large crowd in that place. I was seated at the edge. You know how these convocation squares are. Princess, have you been to Nasarawa State? Up like I was seated at the end. I couldn't even see the stage well. I heard a prophetic word that looked like me. I don't know if it took me 10 seconds to get to the front. And the impartation I received from that service has stayed with me till today. Some of these lackadacious and lack, you, don't, you are not ready for God to move. Huh? So please, let's learn it for tonight. Once I mention a case that looks like your own, you rush with every speed that you have. Hmm? If you hit somebody, you can apologize to them later, but be careful not to hit anybody. Are you ready for the grace of God tonight? Shout Jesus. I want you to shout it again so the anointing of my life can intensify. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, Papa. Her brother. Spare parts. Huh? Her brother sells spare parts. Your brother sells brother. spare parts. Yes, sir. Where is he? In Bank of Dunouts. Here in Meduguri. Yes, sir. Step forward. 
You are the one I'm talking to. Clap for Jesus. All these other ones are car dealers. Yes, car dealers. In fact, this one had a car deal yesterday. Okay, has uh, cousin sister sells spare parts too. Your cousin sister? Sister. Where, where is she? Meduguri. She's here. She sells in Meduguri. Yes, here. sir. In New Tosh Bama. Okay, so you step forward and join her. Lift your hands. God said I should proclaim a breakthrough anointing upon them. Are you hearing me? Go back and tell them that God is giving them accelerated breakthroughs. I speak over that business. Are you hearing me? In particularly the two of you. Because I'm looking at something that is looking like it is stock. Are you hearing me? Even you, you. I saw your brother in the spirit. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I saw your brother in the spirit. And it looks like things are in a way that he's getting frustrated. It's like there is a, he's, he's stuck in a way, something like that. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I want to prophesy speed and breakthrough upon him. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands by the power of the Holy Ghost. I speak breakthrough and I speak speed to this business. Amen. You shout amen, you receive it for yourself. Amen. I declare a season of accelerated breakthroughs. Amen. Everything that has tied the business, I command it to be loose right Amen. now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The rest of you car deals, car dealers, huh? sell cars. Father, I release grace for exploits. You, huh? This September, your, bro your brother is going to make the greatest sales he has ever made in his life. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. I'm seeing somebody calling him to place an order for spare parts to a Jeep, an SUV. Amen. It, when it happens, you come back and testify here. Are you Amen. hearing me? Yes, sir. I saw somebody calling him and he was placing order for parts that belong to an SUV. This September will be the greatest month of his life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I declare uncommon breakthroughs for the rest of you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Return back to your seat. Clap your hands and rejoice. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, I'm seeing a number. You see, there's a way the prophetic works. I can use one word to connect to several people. Are you hearing what I'm saying? sometimes one word for a specific person but most times because of lack of time god will show mercy by using one word to connect to many people are you hearing me uh-huh so that you can solve many cases at the same time now i'm seeing a number 608 the lord said to me this number is part of a mobile number six zero eight and it's also like a pin like a pin or a password or something for another person for one person it is part of a mobile number six zero eight it, that's the order six first zero then eight then for another person it's like a password or a pin six zero eight rush quickly quickly Move as the anointing is moving. Can you clap for Jesus? Something is happening here. Oh. Something is happening here. The more you celebrate God, the greater the release of the anointing. That's how it works. Hmm? You see, the prophetic works with excitement. Are you hearing me? You can pray the prophetic to manifest. But once it starts manifesting, your excitement will increase it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why before Isaac was going to die, he told Esau, he said, go and bring venison so that I will eat. So that my soul will be excited to proclaim prophetic blessings on you. When you prophesy before people are just looking at you as if you are their father's younger brother, it, doesn't, it, it, will, it will remain at a level. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This week I met a Muslim. And when I held her and began to prophesy to her, the joy, I began to wish to start prophesying to Muslims. I'm telling you, the joy with which she was receiving, 
it's more than even believers i say god i think we should change ministry let me start let me be i like muslims let me huh? believers will look at you as if you are their younger brother are you excited somebody's story is changing today very good so we'll know who god wants to attend to but i'll pray for everybody yes help him with that mic please so, all right her last number is 608 her phone number your last the, the last three digits 608 608 papa happy Cle ha celebrate jesus for that Oh, now, nah, okay, I know, you see, wait. If I was in Abuja or in Lagos or in Ghana, it's because I'm with you. Amen. We'll be going to Ghana soon. Amen. Listen, there's no way, for some of you who think this is game, there's no way I can cram, there are too many numbers on my phone for me to start cramming somebody's last digit. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Papa, sir, she has her pin, her phone. Her phone pin is the 608. The <laughs> yes. And his, his own too. Both his pin and his phone number is 608. 608. Her account number 608. This can only be God. GT Bank. GT Bank. Yes, sir. Where are you? Lift your hands. Come from Where are you? Let me see you. Come. Let me see the face. Let me, is that Esther? Esther? Oh, yes. God spoke to me this afternoon about you. Esther, prepare for wedding. Uh, yeah. No, God, uh, God spoke to me specifically about you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? A miracle marriage, that's what will happen for you. Now lift your hands. I prophesy in this season that you will experience supernatural financial abundance. Hear me? In the next 30 days, there's a major breakthrough coming upon you and your family. I release it. The Bible says, what I say to one, I say to all. In the name of Jesus Christ. 30 days means that from now to the last day of this month. I release this word upon her and upon anyone that is ready to receive. That within the next 30 days, may God give you a super abundant financial miracle. A miracle that breaks protocol and changes status quo. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and give Jesus praise. Na 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 na. You know they use me. Look at me, look at me, my dear. Listen, look at me, Esther. Look at me, look at me. I'm not playing with you. God said, "Get ready for a wedding." Whether there's a man or not, I saw God do things with speed. Miracle marriage is about to happen. Amen. Except I'm not called by God. Except everything that you have been seeing and hearing in this place is a lie. I'm saying it to you again. By the integrity of the call of God on my life, get ready for a miracle marriage. That's what God is saying. It's a privilege to be called by God to speak for him. Are you hearing me? You know, Pastor Prince, we have said something before. And I think it is true. He said a prophet says what he sees. But an apostle declares what he wants to see. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some of us have been privileged by God, authorized by God to speak for God. And he confirms it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You get ready for that. You remember our, 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 host, our, our guest last week, K Strings. Let me, let me give you a very short story with all humility. Last year, I ministered with him in a program here in Meduguri. And after the program, much later in the day, I went to see him at his hotel room. And before I went to his hotel room, God told me to take a, an amount in dollars. 
and go to him and give him and prophesy to him. What I will prophesy, I don't know. And when I went to him after we spoke, I told him, sir, when you were ministering, I saw a jet, a big jet, and I saw you flying out of the country. And God said, the season for your international ministry has come. That was February that year. By April, he traveled to Liberia. And from that time till today, he's been traveling around the world. With all humility, I'm saying it. So you see, his coming here was not just because of friendship. It was out of honor. I prophesy to you, let the seasons of God over your life change in your favor. I said, let the seasons over your life change in your favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's deal with the other people. You can return back to your seat, my dear. Mobile number. Yes, sir. Mobile number. And a pin, her phone, her pin. His mobile number. And I think Mashallah. mobile numbers. Yes, mobile number, step forward. Let me, let me talk to you, somebody. Your name is the miracle. Your name is the son of God. Your name is the mighty God. Sing it one more time. Your name. to him. Lift your hands, sing it one more time to heaven. There's somebody I want to talk to. Just stand there. Uh, God gave me an instruction. There's somebody I want to talk to. One of your siblings that I want to talk to. But let me, let me ask the other people here. I'm not talking to you now. Eh? Please, just stand there. There's, I'm getting something. When I touch your hand, I will get it. Amen? Thank you, Father. Which of you has a sister... Or perhaps a cousin with the name Priscilla. Priscilla. Huh? Either one of you or somebody in the congregation. I heard the name Priscilla. And God said it's somebody's sister. I want to talk to that person. Her uncle's wife, sir. Your uncle's wife yes, is sir. Priscilla. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll still talk to you. But I want to be sure if there's somebody with a sister with that name. I'll, I'll talk to you. You know, the Bible says we see in part. Okay, so you're seeing many things in the spirit and you are trying to find out which for which. Papa, her cousin yeah. is Priscilla. Your cousin's sister is Priscilla. Clap her for Jesus. I'll talk to you. So her cousin's sister too is Priscilla. Is Priscilla married? No, she's a young girl. Priscilla, is she married? No, she's still a young girl. A young girl. Is it marriageable age? Okay, young. You said it's your uncle's wife. Yes. There is a Priscilla here also, Papa. Huh? Priscilla, Priscilla. her cousin of marriageable Priscilla. age. Marriageable age, yes. but not married. Uh-huh. Come. Come. Clap for Jesus. You see, <laughs> let me tell you the reason for why in the prophetic names, numbers, and all these things are mentioned. Huh? It's not just to amuse people. God is too big to amuse people. Are you hearing what I'm saying? 
is for God to show you how specific he is about your life. How concerned he is about you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And it also tells you that when you come to this place, you are representing you and everybody that is connected to you. Are you ready to receive tonight? Yes, sir. Priscilla. Yes, sir. Go and tell her yes, sir. that God said within one year, yes, sir. she will settle down. Amen. 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 Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Within one year from now, God is going to settle her maritally. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Priscilla, your cousin, your cousin. I think I've gotten the person I'm talking about. Your uncle's wife is Priscilla. Yes, sir. Where are they? Where do they stay? Where do they live? Uh, they are not together. They are, she's in Newman while he works at Casina. Okay, they, their work separates them. Yes, sir. Do they have children? No, sir. How long have they been married? A year and a half. No. A year and a half. Yes. Do you know anything about the medical history of this woman? Sir. Okay. Because I want to pray and prophesy. And I want you to send this word to her. Yes, sir. I don't know why, but I'm seeing something wrong with her womb. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I'm seeing something like a growth that is threatening conception. Yes, sir. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But God says in the name of Jesus Amen. that whatever he has not planted will be uprooted. Amen. And the spell of barrenness that has been casted. Where did they get married? Where was their wedding? Newman. In Newman. Yes, sir. Ah, Jesus. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are not desperate enough in this service. So. In the name of Jesus. Every form of witchcraft. Every form of witchcraft. Targeted against me. Targeted against me. Without my knowledge. Without my knowledge. Backfire by fire. Backfire by fire. Open your mouth and pray for one minute. See the way you are praying. See the way you are praying. Backfire by fire. Backfire by fire. But fire by fire. Sutala makete bakasuba. Every form of witchcraft. Every attack of witchcraft. Manipulated against my destiny, against my life. Without my knowledge, but fire by fire. But fire by fire. I'm also praying for myself. Fire by fire. Everywhere your name was mentioned for evil, but fire by fire, in Jesus' name, my dear, step forward. Who has an an uncle here with the name Paul? Paul, Paul. You have an uncle with the name Paul. Paul, come quickly. This thing. I'm seeing so many things at the same time. Paul, Paul, Paul. God is showing me a dark in complexion man that I need to pray for. This thing about witchcraft that we have raised now, God wants to bring an end to it. Huh? Just try to sort them out for me. My dear, look at me. Were you in the wedding? You were not in the wedding. Okay, good. Let me, I don't know how to explain this, but listen. Yes, sir. I saw in the spirit. This is just a question. Huh? This is just a question. Just bring it down a little bit. I saw in the spirit. The reception. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. They had reception for their wedding? A small gathering. A small gathering. Yes, sir. Was it like... Uh, I don't know. This is just a question. Was it like around the place where they did the wedding? Yes. The wedding service was yes. like around the same place yes, where sir. they did the wedding. Yes, sir. Was it like outside? It was outside. 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 Very good. God showed me in the spirit. Somebody, I saw somebody carrying something mm. and then spoke to it. 
and they wrapped it as a gift and brought it there for the wedding. Ah. And that thing is a spell that she will not conceive. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, as I'm talking to you now, your, your, your auntie is already depressed. Are you hearing? In fact, I saw her crying this week. Ah. This issue has started disturbing her. And then even with nightmares that she's already been having that she doesn't understand. But in the name of Jesus, Amen. everything that was manipulated against her returned Amen. back to the sender. Amen. The person, hear me, the person that did it is in the village, in that same place, in Numan. Are you hearing me? It's yes, in sir. that same place, the person that did it. In fact, it's a woman. That's what I'm saying. It's a woman, an elderly woman that did it. But in the name of Jesus. Amen every arrow of witchcraft that was fired towards her amen. i'm prophesying it for her and for that person that is ready to say amen, amen. let that arrow return back to the sender amen. back to the sender back to amen. the sender back to the sender amen. in the name of jesus amen. christ amen and hear me i release her womb to conceive amen if God be God, in less than six months, she will be heavy. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I prophesy to everyone here looking for the fruit of the womb, or you are connected to somebody who is trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I declare on this day, 1st of September, they at this miracle service, let them receive their miracle babies. According as they desire, one, twins, triplets, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and give Jesus praise. It is done. If I were you, I would rush out now and call her and tell her this is everything that happened. And tell her to begin to rejoice. Yes, sir. Jesus, here, you have done it again. Jesus yeah. in a special way, what was impossible, you made possible, Jesus yeah. That is going to be your song after tonight. I said that's going to be your song after tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. You can return back, God bless you. All this uh, 608. Huh? 608. 608. Where are the mobile number people? Please step. I'm looking. I want to see if God wants to pick one person before I pray for you people generally. All right? Please lift your hands, all of you. These angels, saints, and the angels bow, reading, worship you now. Holy, holy, holy I see an anointing resting upon two of you. I see, I see such an anointing resting upon two of you right now. That is just a question. Do you have an elder brother? No. Who is the first? She's a girl. She's a girl. Yes. You have a brother. You don't have a brother. Yes. Okay. Okay, just lift your hands. Father, I stretch my hands towards her. No. Look at me. God is showing me. It looks like. Uh, so just confirm for me, okay? It's like somebody stayed in your house. It's not your brother, but it's closely related and like a brother at one point in your family. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Let me repeat myself. It's like somebody once stayed in your house. Are you hearing me? Yes. Not now. It's like somebody once lived in your house. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And... I'm seeing a young man who is grown, dark in complexion. And God is telling me somebody once stayed in the house. It's not your sibling. Are you hearing me? Yes. But it's somebody who stayed like a cousin brother or an uncle or something. 
Because I'm seeing somebody tall and dark in complexion. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Do you know about this? No. I'm very sure of this. Somebody lived in your house, okay? And God is showing me that person. Do you know her? She's your younger sister? Yes, sir. Before she grew up to this level, there was somebody that stayed in our house. Yes, sir. You can't be wrong with the Holy Ghost. Are you hearing me? It's okay, my dear. It's not your fault. Okay? It's not your fault. I just saw, I kept seeing the vision. Are you hearing me? Except you don't believe that God talks to you. God is not a man that he should lie. I'm seeing a, a, this guy now is young, he's tall. Yes, sir. Dark. Yes, sir. In fact, he's, he's almost taller than Bro Enoch. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Has a good body built. That's what I'm seeing. With a hairstyle like uh, what do you call that hairstyle, like punk or something, dark in complexion. Well, I don't know his hairstyle presently now because he left us, I think, years, years ago. Years ago. Yes, sir. He stayed in your house. Yes. He Who stayed. is it to you, people? He's my like my mother's distant cousin's son. He schooled in our house. Your mother's distant cousin's distant son. son. That's like yes. a cousin, a distant yes. cousin to you, people. Yes, sir. Eh, I said it's like a cousin brother or something like that. Yes. Sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing something that the enemy has used to tie his destiny. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because I'm seeing somebody who is stuck. Career, nothing. Nothing is really happening around him. In fact, the way I'm seeing him, I'm seeing him naked. That's how I'm seeing him in the spirit. And when you see that, sometimes it can mean someone that may be carrying a reproach of shame and disgrace. Everything that has tied his destiny here at this miracle service, we command it to be loose. Amen. I say we command it to be loose. Amen. And I speak to this young man in the name of Jesus. Experience Amen. divine acceleration. Amen. Divine acceleration. Amen. You return back. Look for that person. Huh? Ask your mother. Get the number of the person. Call the person and tell this person this is what the Lord said. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. That God is opening doors and God will cause him to begin to accelerate with speed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. It's all right. God bless you, my dear. You can return back. Come, 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 come. Let me pray for you. Come, step forward. Huh? I need to pray so that you don't start complaining anyhow of stomach ache. Are you hearing me? Put your hands on your tummy. Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever you have not planted in this body, let it be uprooted. I declare that there will be no affliction from hell on her body, in her stomach, in the name of Jesus. Nothing will grow inside of you that is unwanted. In Jesus' name. It is done. Celebrate Jesus. Lord, to you, we live. Just give me your left hand. You're the land upon the throne. Please give me your phone. All right? No, I don't want it open. It's closed. They will say you show me something. There's somebody I'm looking for. Do you have sisters? Yes, sir. More than one, right? Yes, okay, sir. Okay, there's one of them that I want to talk to. Okay, sir. All right? Thank you, Jesus. Now, I need to pray. The person I want to pray for is older than you. Yes, sir. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. She's older than you. And I'm going to pray concerning marriage. Okay. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Now, this is just a question. Are any of your sisters married? They are all married. They are all married. Yes, sir. I'm going to pray concerning marriage. Yes, sir. All right? I want yes, to pray sir. concerning her marriage. Okay, sir. There's something that the enemy is trying to do. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That God wants to put an end to. But Amen. the person I'm talking about is taller than you. Huh? None of my sisters. None of them are taller, taller than, than you. Me. Yes, sir. I'm seeing somebody who is um Jesus help me. Jesus help me. Please pray in the spirit for one minute. I need to I need to get this very well. I need to get this thing. Where is the thing through? Oh Lord, great is thy thing Now, this is just a question. Eh? I'm coming back. I want to I want to pick that person very well because okay, there's sir. something that God is asking me to pray and cancel. Oh, I got it now. There's something that God is asking me to pray and cancel. This thing that I want to pray and cancel is sudden death. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Good. This is a question. Do you know anybody with the name Deborah? Yes. Huh? My cousin's sister. Your cousin's sister is Deborah. Yes, sir. Is she taller than you? We are almost the we are, same. You're height. almost the same. Yes, sir. Aha. So that's, I think that's the person I'm seeing. Because I looked at you and I saw somebody like you. Yes, are you they look alike. Fair, everything like that. Uh -huh. So we'll come to Deborah. Where is Deborah? Is she, is she in school? Like she's school a student. Or something? In she's a student? But she's currently not in Meduguri. She's a student yes, in sir. Unime. Yes, sir. But she's not in Meduguri. Yes. Clap for Jesus. You see, now, let me, let me tell you something about the prophetic. You, you are seeing many things at the same time. And you are hearing many things at the same time. So you will need to, it's like what they call, in English language, they write words like this, write words like this, and they say match them. Uh -huh. So you will need to match exactly with the information and at the same time god is talking to you about that person are you hearing what i'm saying so that's why sometimes we touch the people that's why sometimes all of these things is just to be exact to what god is doing are you hearing what i'm saying deborah ah. tell deborah that she must graduate amen yes sir this is not prophecy, just, you know, you see, many people, are, they, they say, oh, that's logical, she's in school. No, she didn't tell me she was in school. I told her she's in school. Are you hearing me? Yes, God said she must graduate. That means there's a plan of the enemy to keep her in school. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But right here in the name of Jesus, God sees the future from the past and he corrects it before you get there. We cancel every manipulation of hell. Amen. Around her academics, Amen. in the name of Jesus, she will graduate at the right time. Amen. And when this Deborah returns, bring her to see me. I want to talk to her about relationships. Ah. Huh? We can't talk about it here. Yes, sir. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Bring her to come and see me. We need to talk about because I don't want her to become confused and keep missing the whole thing. All right? Because even now, said there are some mistakes that have already been made. Yes. When you come, when you get into something with somebody and your people now do something that only married people should do. Say amen to that. Amen. And then the thing no can work. Wise people understand. So bring her to see me. We we'll can't talk about this in public. Huh? Yes, sir. She's missing things. All right. Amen. And then she needs to be serious with God because that's where the thing starts from. Yes. Because I'm seeing some cluster of strange relationship. I see three True. ladies around her. Yes. This three ladies. Well, yes. this is mm. on camera. Let's keep quiet and leave it there. So she needs to get her relationship with God correct. And then she needs to keep away some friends. Yes, sir. Otherwise, this cycle will continue. Ah. 
Just go. Bring her to come and see me because I'm seeing some yes, kind sir. of things. I am even seeing. <laughs> Bring her to come and see me. Eh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the plan of the enemy for her will not manifest. Amen. Amen. You know when because of people you start going to places you shouldn't go to. Has she traveled to Abuja recently? Huh? I, I don't even know. You, you know her? Me. You know her? Yes. Oh, that's your brother? Yes, sir. She, she traveled to Abuja. She's in Abuja presently. They went somewhere in Abuja. I will not talk. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Ah, Abuja Glory Summit. It will be bloody old. Don't worry. You, you just bring her to come and see me. Tell her, and no she has an. Uh, I'll call her immediately after please. the service. Tell her that she has an admirer. <laughs> because if you say prophet, they won't come. Abi. Uh, so, tell her that I have a gift for her. She should come. I want us to talk. All right. All right. Sir. Yes, sir. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Now let me pray for this, your sister. Is your firstborn a, a female? Yes, sir. Married? Yes, sir. That's the person I want to pray for. Oh. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For my God. Where is her husband? He's in Meduguri. He's in Meduguri? Yes, yes sir. sir. What kind of job does he do? Because there's He's something a health that worker. Huh? He's a health worker. He's a health worker. Yes, yes sir. sir. Where does he work? I want to know because I'm seeing something that will happen when he travels that we need to cancel. Okay, he does lecture at... Um, University in Yobe State. Okay, he lectures at the university yes. in Yobe State. Yes. Oh, that means he will travel. Yes. Certainly. Now, in the name of Jesus, we cancel kidnapping. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Because Amen. that's what I saw. And God said, this will happen when he travels. That's why I needed to know where he works. In the, because you came here today, in the name of Jesus, we cancel every plan of kidnapping by the Amen. enemy. Amen. And we cancel sudden deaths. Amen. This lady, huh? Yes, sir. I don't know how many children she has now, but she's supposed to have three. She has, she has three. three. She has three children. Yes, sir. I'm seeing a fair boy. A fair boy. Yes. Boy. Yes. yes. Huh? That's child. the last, the last child, That's the, the last, last child. Yes. God said they will not bury that child. Amen. I declare to you, the Bible says, there, "There shall nothing amongst you cast her young." You will not bury your children. Parents, I pray in the name of Jesus, you will not bury your children. Those of you that are newly married, you will not bury your children in the name of Jesus Christ. It is done. Return back to your seat rejoicing. Clap for Jesus. You know they use me. I told you, I said, God, no go shame us today. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God, no be why you. God is not scam. He's real. Are you hearing me? Clap for Jesus. So all these people with mobile number, ah, this this young man, what do you do, sir? Huh? I work with an NGO. Sir. You work with an NGO? Yes, sir. Huh? Happiness. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. God is saying happiness. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. God is releasing happiness to you. Amen. Amen. I see you getting another job. Amen. Look at me. God is going to change your life. Amen. You are going to get a higher job. Amen. You hear me? God is going to bless you in a short time. I see you buying a car. Amen. Amen. Look at me. Do you have a car now? No, sir. I see God blessing you so much. In less than a year, I see you buying a car. Amen. And please stand up, sir. Come. Tell them whether I'm lying or not. For this one, I want to talk. God sees the desires of our heart. 
I see God giving you a dream of building a house. Yes, sir. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You have that as a plan. Yes, sir. To build your house. Yes, sir. Do you have a land already? No, sir. No land already? Yes, sir. All right. Me, I have a grace for landed properties. Yes, sir. No, it's true. It's true. Yes, there are testimonies I will not share with you now. Maybe in two years' time. Some of you will develop stomach ache for me. You know what, Bishop Abio, you say? Stop developing stomach ache for other people's success. There are some testimonies that shouldn't be shared. You say, oh, God, why is it? Are you partial? <laughs> Amen. Look at me. Do you believe God for a landed property before the end of this year? Yes. Now receive it in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. You will get that land. You will start building. You will finish. You are not married. Look at me. Yes, sir. But you will finish that building before you get married. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God says He's going to settle you early. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. As an answer to the prayers you prayed when you were a teenager. Yes, sir. Mm. Are you hearing? Mm. Is that true? Yes, sir. As an answer to the prayers of your heart when you were a teenager. Yes, sir. Satisfy us early. That's what the Bible says. Mm. God will satisfy you Amen. early. Amen. I said God will satisfy you early. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Psalms 90 verse 14. He said, oh, satisfy us early. Wherever you are in two minutes, open your mouth and cry to God. Oh, God, satisfy me early. Satisfy me early. It means everything that you need to be established being released to you. Can you lift your voice and cry to God? Everything that you need for establishment, everything you need to be settled, oh God, satisfy me early, 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 early. satisfy me early. Open your mouth and pray. Satisfy me early. Come on, speak to God. in Jesus name please stand on your feet I'm sensing that we are getting close to the healing session Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I've prayed for you people, but doors open for you in this season. In Jesus' name. God is going to give you speed. Huh? There are some things that are about to happen very quickly. Between now and October, middle October, yes, there are things that are about to happen quickly. Yeah. And God is introducing you to another dimension of the spirit. Yeah. Listen. This dimension that you are entering, the gift of tongues and the interpretation of tongues will be activated. Amen. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes, uh, sir. And it's going to be a strategy for you to walk in the prophetic. Yes, sir. Amen. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Uh, speaking in tongues and then you will interpret it. I'm speaking to him and the anointing is touching another person. And it's going to be a strategy to walk in the prophetic. Lift your hands. Father, I stretch my hands to him. Clothe him with that mantle. Amen. Let it be a season for him. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Return back to your seat. God bless you. Clap your hands and give Jesus praise. How great thou art. How great. Let me see. This one's what are they for? Paul. Paul. Huh? The 14 of the them. Paul. 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 Paul.
Paul is that men. complexion. I need to pray for that your uncle. I'm seeing an attack on his throat. I'm seeing a swelling on his throat. Huh? This Paul. This uncle that is called Paul. In the name of Jesus, every attack of affliction. Your own is not dark. Is it? Huh? Is dark in complexion? It's only this one Paul. has a fair Paul. Okay, fair. Oh, fair Paul. All right. In the name of Jesus. All of you just hold your hands. Father, I speak to these ones. Kai. Listen. Daddy. You said it's your uncle. Your uncle. Your brother, his name is Paul. Your brother, his name is Paul. Is he older than you? Yes, sir. He's older than you. Yes, sir. Please step forward, Daddy. Based on what I'm seeing, we are going to pray that God will spare his life into next year. Amen. Huh? Amen. We are going to pray that God will spare his life to enter next year. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Otherwise, there's a plan for... You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Uh -huh. But I pray that God will spare his life into next year. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I use him to connect to all of you. Anyone that is an attack of death on that uncle, we cancel it here at this miracle service. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This fair lady, this one here, come. Do you believe in the prophetic? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Have you been prophesied to before? No, sir. Okay. I'm praying for your uncle now. But yes. God said to, where's your father? He's at home, sir. God said to tell you, huh? To yes, tell sir. your father that there's been a release of money that has been held. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I know you may not be aware of that. Are you? No, you may sir. not be aware of that. God said that there is a release. Money that has been held has been released. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And look at me, my dear. In 10 days time, something will happen in your family as a confirmation to this word. Amen. Hmm? When is 10th of September? 10 days from now is when? Is it 10 or 11? 10 days from now, will it be 10th or 11th? 11th. So when is 11th? Huh? All right. Look at me, my dear. In 10 days, something strange is going to happen in your family. Amen. A good thing. As a confirmation to this word, God said the money has been released. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come, where's your mother? She's in Canada. She's in Canada. Yes, sir. What's she doing there? She's schooling and working there. She's schooling and working. Wait, why are they not? Why is she in Canada and your? Where's your dad? He's at home, sir. Here. Why is she in Canada and your dad is here? Is it arranged or there's been a problem or what? No, there is no problem, sir. Okay, she went for school. Yes, sir, and work. And work. How long has she been there? It's this year, sir. This year. Yes, sir. God said I should hold your hands, that your mother needs breakthrough. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Yeah, you think everybody abroad are doing fine. God said I should hold your hands and prophesy to your mother, breakthrough. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God is going to give her breakthrough. Amen. Both in her studies, in her academics, and even in what to do. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But let me tell you where your mother's money is. Where her wealth is. Look at me. Don't worry, she's crying. <laughs> it's it's alright. There is a grace connecting you and your mother. Huh? The finance of your mother, the real place is in business. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. That means your mother is going to go into business. Amen. You too will go into business. Amen. Are you hearing me? God says that's where the finance is. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So God is going to give us speed. She's going to finish. Are you hearing me? 
Yes, and then return back into the country. And I see God establishing her. Amen. And hear me, your mother will not be the last person to leave Nigeria. Amen. Yeah, the door is going to open for other people to go. Amen. Look at me, including you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Do you believe it? You believe it? In 10 days time, God is going to do something great in your family. Amen. As a confirmation to all this world. Amen. And we release it to your life today. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Clap your hands, return to your seat. Celebrate Jesus. Amen. If you are sick, can you lay your hands where the sickness is, where the pain is, where the condition is? I want to pray for you right now. Hallelujah. Yes, this one's. Okay, oh, I positive. prayed for all yes, your uncle. Yes, sir. Go back, no death in the name of Jesus. Amen. And for one of them, I saw an attack on his truth. Eh, because I'm seeing a dark person and I see the throat swelling and they began to talk about operation we cancel it in the name of Jesus return back to your seat rejoicing clap your hands and give Jesus praise how great thou I want you to believe that the God that we serve is the one that heals there is no infirmity there is no condition there is no sickness that god cannot heal he's called jehovah rapha the lord that heals lay your hand where the condition is where the pain is there's somebody who's been carrying an affliction for almost 30 years it's today that God will heal you. You are here. You are not online. Perhaps maybe somebody else, but I'm speaking to somebody online. You are carrying a, there's a health condition that is almost 30 years. God is going to heal you today. Put your hand where the condition is, your pain, the sickness, wherever it is, whatever part of your body. If it's in your blood or in a delicate part of your body for social reasons, just put your right hand on your chest. I'm going to pray for you. Where is Elizabeth? Come, let me tell you something. You need to pray for that, your, that your cousin sister. Huh? Let me just whisper in your ear. No, they whisper. Put your hand where the condition is. I want to pray for you. Forget, let me whisper to this one. Amen. Are you ready for the healing anointing? I want you to believe in the God that heals. Every affliction, every condition you came with is about to be rolled away. Lay your hand there. If you are standing in for someone, just lift your right hand for that person. We are going to pray right now. You are the Lord that He led thee. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word and healed my disease. You are the Lord. My Let's sing it one more time. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. Oh, the healing presence of God is moving in this place. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. My healer. Sing it. You sent your word. You sent your word. And you heal my disease. You are the Lord. You are the Lord, my healer. 
right now I'm seeing something like a bird a bird just flying across this hall the Bible says the son of righteousness will arise with healing in his wings believe God beyond every reasonable doubt that affliction will go God will heal your mother from that terrible condition now father in the name of Jesus I take authority against sickness against affliction against disease against infirmity in the bodies of your children I commanded I commanded to be arrested and come out of them now I arrest it and I command it to come out of them now in the name of Jesus Christ I speak to your body right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet and I declare that you are healed you are healed in the name of Jesus Christ let the pains disappear I see the Lord healing somebody around your heart where your heart is I don't know what it is but I see God lifting a heavy burden and bringing healing to that region in the name of Jesus Christ I speak to every organ in your body to respond to the life of Jesus and by the power of resurrection I command that they are healed right now headaches disappear pains disappear every bone malfunction be corrected now for some of you I declare a creative miracle right now in the name of Jesus Christ I declare healing in your blood healing in your muscles healing in your bones healing in your tissues from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet I declare that you are healed there's somebody experiencing painful urination right now God is asking me to breathe upon you and God is healing you now in the name of Jesus I declare that that condition is over I declare that that condition is over. Help them. I declare that that condition is over. Every kidney condition be healed right now. There's somebody who have a problem with your digestive system. I don't know what it is, but there's a malfunctioning in your digestive system. Your stomach, your intestine. God is correcting it now. God is healing you right now. Lay your hands there. God is healing you right now. In the name of Jesus. Every condition with your ear, God is healing you right now. I would have mentioned it, but there are several of them. God is touching somebody's ears right now. He's setting you free now. Long-sightedness is corrected. Short-sightedness is corrected every eye condition glaucoma is corrected now Amen. cataract is being healed now Amen. in the name of jesus christ there's somebody you have an eye condition and it's like transgenerational it's hereditary right now god is touching you in the name of jesus christ whether i mentioned your condition or not from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet you are healed in Jesus mighty name we pray and those of you standing in for somebody or those of you connecting by way of the internet I release the healing power of God to you now let it touch your body and make you whole now in the name of Jesus Christ clap your hands and give Jesus praise <laughs> hallelujah there's somebody with a problem around your wrist. It's God has healed you now. The reason I said that is when I said clap your hands, God told me there's somebody 
having a problem i don't know if it's a pain around your wrist but god has healed you right now now this is what you do before you sit down i'm going to ask you to sit down in two minutes okay but this is what you do check yourself exercise yourself check that place where the pain is if you can't find it if the condition has improved or if you just know in yourself that you have been healed please rush to the front quickly we still have a little time to take testimonies and then after that i'm going to ask you to sit down so for two minutes before you sit down check yourself check the condition call the people you stood in for and let us hear what god has done for them huh let us hear what god has done for them for you are glorious and you're worthy to be praised you're the land upon the throne and all to you we lift our voice to say you're the land if god has healed you please rush to the front quickly or if you have gotten a healing testimony for us online or somebody that you stood in for please rush quickly Let's get your testimony and shame the devil. The rest of you can be seated. Lord the Lamb upon the And unto you go. To you. Lift our voice to say. seated just enjoy this atmosphere just enjoy the presence of the lord you are fair more fair than the lily that grows by the way you are precious more precious than gold sweet jesus say sweet jesus sweet jesus how wonderful you are, you are brighter than the morning sun. You are fairer, you are fairer, you are fairer than the lily that blows by the wind. Oh, you are precious, more precious. 
in this place in my world. your hands and receive the touch of his presence this is the atmosphere that heals you of depression this is the atmosphere that heals you of discouragement it is in this atmosphere that demons are checked out of people yokes are breaking right now God is releasing impartations of grace Emmanuel, hey, your name is God. Emmanuel, where's precious? Come. I want to pray for you. There's something that God wants to release to you. Come, let me lay hands on you. Just stand there. Come, bring her closer. Father, like the dew of heaven, let it rest upon her. Something fresh from heaven. You will never be the same again. Receive that touch. Receive that touch. In this atmosphere, God is activating spiritual gifts. God is activating spiritual gifts. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Is activating gifts of the spirit. Every gift that you used to have that is lost is returning, it's returning, it's being restored. Touch! Everything that you lost is being restored. Every anointing, every gift, I stretch my hands all across this auditorium and following on the internet. Let it be restored. That's it. Let it be restored. Let it be restored. Help that, help them. Let it be restored. Touch! 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 What an atmosphere. What a night in the presence of God. Just pray in the spirit for one minute. God is doing something. We'll soon take the testimonies, but just give me one minute. Wherever you are, pray in the spirit if you can. God is activating things. I see fresh, fresh. I see a fountain in the spirit. 
I see a fountain of water bursting forth. I see a fountain of water bursting forth. That which God has placed inside of you. That glory, that greatness, that favor. Let it burst forth. Let it burst forth. Let it manifest. Jesus, 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 there is something. Meanwhile, more healing testimonies can be coming about your name. More healing testimonies should keep coming online. Master, Savior, Jesus. Like a fragrance after your rain. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let all heaven and the earth proclaim. And kings and kingdoms will all pass away. For there's something about, but there is something about. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There is something. Keba katu kapaya about your name. Just receive it. Just receive it. There is something about. There is something about. There is something about your name. Now, if you can, just put your right hand on your head. There's a quick walk of deliverance that God wants to do. Can I just walk around? Huh? Just create a little space for me. I'm just going to walk around. There will be no time to minister deliverance. Just put your hands on your forehead and close your eyes. Every demonic presence will be checked out right now. The demon of delay. The demon of witchcraft. Father, as I pass, let the angels of fire begin to move. Please, Father, do a quick walk of deliverance. Demon of delay, witchcraft, oppression, demons tormenting you in your dreams, spirits tormenting you in your dreams. Just, just only the keyboard, just play. Touch, touch your cymbals lightly. Yes. Every demonic oppression, every form of demonic torment, is going now. Put your right hand on your forehead. It's going. It's going. Demons are checked out of people now. 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 Every spirit that is not of God. I command you to come out of them. Come out of their lives. Let them go. Let them go. In the name of Jesus. Let this be a season. God has remembered her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be a season of breakthrough. Touch her. In the name of Jesus. Every devil that has tormented you. Demons from your father's house. From your mother's house. They are living now. We we'll send them back to hell. We send them back to hell. That curse is broken. That transgenerational curse is broken. It's broken. It's broken. There will be no time for deliverance. That's why I'm doing this. Touch! There is something about there is something 
There is something. Demons of delay. I command you to lose them right now. In the name of Jesus. Demons of delay. I increase your level. I increase your level spiritually. God is increasing you. New levels. There is something about. There is something, my God. Break your hold of her life. Touch something about. There is something about. There is something about your name. There is something. Abba, there is something about your freedom has come. There is something about your freedom has come. There is something about there is something about touch put a Abba, there is something. God is blessing you, ma. In the name of Jesus. Okay, oh, this is Stephanie's mother. I see the angel of the Lord putting resources Amen. in your hands. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you, sir? Just stand here. There is something. Just hold my hand. Father, Give him a touch that will change his life forever. You will never be the same. Receive it. There is something. Let the power of shrines be broken. Let the power of the shrines be broken. I'm speaking to somebody. I cross that altar. I cross that shrine. And I set everyone in that family free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for this lady? Can I pray for you, ma? Are you married? Okay, come. There is something about... There is something I'm going to pray for you, but please tell me your greatest desire, what you want God to do for you. Just hold my hand. Father, delay comes to an end in our life. Something is going to rest upon you now and bring you into a new season. Remember what I said about falling under the anointing? I said when you are under that state, just allow God to finish what he's doing. Let me me start to come. The power of God is here. Are you the one on crutches? What's wrong with you? You had an accident. Yes, sir. How long? Two years, eight months. Two years ago. Eight months. Two years, eight months ago. Yes, you sir. had an accident. Yes, sir. What happened to your body after the accident? What happened? My legs. You can't use them. Yes. You can't walk without a crutch. Yes, sir. Do you want to walk today? Yes, sir. I'm not talking about if they have prayed for you before. Do you want to walk today? Yes, sir. Listen, when Jesus created you, 
He knew that two legs were enough. Yes, sir. That you don't need to have two extra. Yes, sir. Do you believe God will heal you? Yes, sir. Is there any problem with your back or just your legs? My spinal cord, but they have fixed iron on it, so it's okay now. Okay, there's an iron there. Yes, sir. Do you believe you walk today? Yes, sir. In the spirit where you are your name is the miracle your name Shabarataba is the son of God your name is the man strength strength Demons are still living people. Your name. Can I lay hands on you? Huh? Is that son of God? You'll feel something go all over your body. It's an impartation of the spirit. See God. Jesus. For two years and eight months, she has not walked. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Where's the crutches? Bring the crutches for me. Two years, eight months. Is the sun. Your name. Come on, give Jesus a big shout of praise. Come on. Two years and eight months. Can you clap and celebrate Jesus? Two years and eight months. The miracles. Your name. Let us sit on my seat. The Son of God. Your name is the mighty God, Jesus. Two years, eight months. She had an accident. She can't walk with her legs. And today she's walking. Can you give God the biggest shout of praise that you can? Uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes, go ahead. Exercise yourself. Exercise yourself. Look at me, man. Try not to look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Do like this. One at a time. Yes. Take one leg up. Take one leg up. Look at me. Just look at me. Take one leg up. Yes. Put, take the other leg up. Yes. Take one up. The other leg up. Oh yeah, walk with her again. Walk with her. Strength is returning to that those bones. She has not walked for two years, eight months. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. God is perfecting that miracle. Your name is the miracle. Your name. Bring her back to my chair. 
He's the Son of God. Yahweh is the mighty God. Jesus. Father, we speak perfection. Are you surprised, ma? Are you surprised? Yes, sir, because I cannot walk only one hand before. You cannot walk only, one only hand. with one hand. Yes. But now you are walking even without your crutches. Yes, sir. God did not create you to use crutches. Yes, sir. God did not destine that you will be confined to a crutch. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. That thing, huh? Yes, sir. You are done with it. Amen. Father, perfect this miracle. Amen. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Amen. You are made whole. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Clap your hands and give Jesus praise. Just sit down there. When I held her legs to pray, they were very heavy. And you, you could tell she had not walked with it for a long time. There's nothing God cannot do. Please be seated for two minutes. Let's hear the testimonies. Clap your hands once more and give Jesus praise. Papa, sir. Yes, sir. When well, you prophesied about the wrist pain. Y yes. Four of them. Four of four them. Four of them were healed instantly. By Where the are they? Where there are the four are. people? Mrs. Hereta. This is Nisi. For three months, he's a basketballer. And yes. He had, yes, yeah. he had an injury and on his wrist. And that's the hand they use. Yes. <laughs> for nine months, sir. Wow. Month, his hand, his, his hands. Yes. And now, no and pain. Now, no pain. To the glory of God. No pain. Yes. Can you give Jesus a clap? The fifth person just came in. For 15 years. 15 years? Yes, 15 years. Huh? What did she Growth say? Growth on my wrist disappeared. The growth disappeared. Growth. The growth disappeared. <laughs> give Jesus the biggest shout of praise that you can. Father, we declare perfection. It will never return again. And God bless all of you. And open doors for you. In Jesus' name. This woman, are you married? Yes, sir. You are married? Yes, sir. Do you have kids? Yes, sir. Are they here? Yes, sir. Bring them. I want to lay my hands on them. Clap your hands for them. Return back to your seat. Let's, Bishop, the next person. Please. Yes, sir. Are you celebrating God or celebrating me? Yes. Papa, this is Jehoshaphat, who has been suffering from chest pain and waist pain for over three months and is now healed completely. To the glory of God. Chest pain. You know, I saw a vision. I wanted to say it. And even now, I sense there's somebody even watching online. I don't know what it is, but I see the hand of God on your chest. There's somebody watching online now. You will feel something on your chest. God is touching you. I don't know what it is, but I saw that vision. And now God has set him free. It will never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Celebrate Jesus once again. Let me lay hands on them. All these three beautiful children, wonderful. Where's your husband? Not in the it's country. Not, sir. It's not in the country. Yes, sir. Is it based abroad? No, he works there. Okay, he works there. Yes. Ah. You are trying to take care of these three children. Yes, sir. The Lord is your strength. Amen. Amen. Wait, oh, is he coming back soon? Yes, sir. I saw, I saw, I saw a plane coming back. I saw, yes. <laughs> I, I just saw a plane landing. Huh? Yes, sir. Is it around December period or something? Or he'll be back in October. In October. Yes, sir. Wow. Glory to God. Tell your husband. I see God opening a major Amen. door for me. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. A door that you will no longer struggle. Amen. Because his salary, huh? Amen. His salary now in Naira will be in millions. Ah. That's what I see. Father, we release grace upon Amen. him now. Let doors open for him Amen. in that land. In the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Let me lay hands on your children. Father, I bless these dear ones in the name of God the Father, 
the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I call them blessed. In the name of Jesus. Which country is he in? He's in Sudan and Chad. He because I see him him. moving. I see him leaving yes. that place. Yes, sir. Something is going to happen that will take him to Europe. Amen. That's what I'm saying. Are you hearing me? Amen. Something is going to take him to Europe. Amen. And Amen. that's where the doors will open. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You are not just crying now. Yes. This is something you cry even at home on yes, your own. I yes, see you kneeling down yes, praying. Yes, sir, yes. God has answered your prayer. Amen. Clap your hands and give Jesus praise. Amen. 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 Beautiful family. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Your children will be great. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Clap your hands for the King of Kings. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Papa, this is Sarah Emmanuel. Yes. Who came in with a headache. Headache. And is now healed to the glory of God. Give Jesus the biggest hand of praise. It will never return again in Jesus' name. Yes, quickly, so that we can close. Yes. This is Hamza Saidu. Yes. For two years, Papa, he can't hear from a distance ah. and can't see from a, from a close range. He can't hear from a distance and he can't, and can't see. see from close range. And now, Both happened the same time. And now he's healed the same time. For two years, deafness and blindness healed. Can you give Jesus a bigger, bigger hand of praise? Couldn't hear. Come, sir. Come, come. Couldn't hear from a distance. Let's check it to be sure. Can you get something for him to read? Maybe get that jota or something. Come, sir. Come. Let me test you myself to be sure. How many of you were with us in Bill for the crusade? The first night, at the first night, God healed somebody who was deaf for 16 years. Are you hearing me? God know they do Ojoro, he's real. I feel like God did this service today just to prove to somebody that he's still alive. Huh? This service is more than, is more than a miracle statement, it's a statement to somebody. It's more than a miracle service. Huh? Which ear? Both ears? Yes, sir. Both ears? couldn't hear from a distance okay now anything i do do it eh? and anything i say say it jesus hallelujah thank you lord father look, just look there look there look 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 Give Jesus a big hand of praise. And you couldn't see. Let's let's try to. He couldn't read. Huh? Try to read. Uh, try from here. Wait. Stay like this so you can see the light. But before now, could you read something like this? You couldn't. Okay. Look at it and read. Let's check. Just start reading from here. Huh? The King of Peace. Continue. Continue. Start again. Father, we perfect this healing in the name of Jesus Christ. God has healed you. He has set you free. Your life will never be the same. Clap your hands and give Jesus praise. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Papa, this is Charity Ibrahim. She said from June, she went to the hospital and had, because of pains with her belly button yes and then <clears throat> she was given drugs but the pain persisted she came for uta flame the pain persisted in fact she can't bend she can't walk upright mm -hmm. she would have to be in a bent position since june yes and now now she can even stretch she went to the toilet bent and eased do what herself. you couldn't do my dear bend and stretch let's see no pain no pain stretch like this Give Jesus the biggest hand of praise that you can. It will never return again in the name of Jesus. Yes. Papa, this is Nana Ken. From Thursday, he has been having stomach pain. Stomach pain? Yes. Wow. In fact, he came and couldn't stand during the service. Oh, instantly after you prayed, he told his auntie here that he's better. 
and wow. is healed to the glory How of God. How old is he? Come, let me lay hands on you. How old is he? Huh? Seven years He's old. He's seven years old. So this one is not game. If a seven-year-old child can confirm that they are healed, they were truly healed. Huh? Jesus has healed you, right? Father, it will never return. May you live a healthy life. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands for Jesus. Yes. Yes, sir. Papa, this is Augusta Ibanga. Yes. She came with heavy eyes and painful eyes because she couldn't sleep for over two days. You couldn't sleep? Yes. Wow. But okay. now, she said her eyes are free of pain and she feels light. Give Jesus a hand of praise. Now, lift your hands, my dear. Let me pray for you. Look at me. God has healed you and now I restore your sleep. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will go back and have a sound sleep tonight. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's give God a big hand of praise. Yes, the last one. Huh? This is Hannah to Hamis. She said her mother has been in the hospital for ulcer. Wow. And How long? Two days now. For two days now. Yes. Been hospitalized. And yes, what happened? I yes. Call, I called my sister and she tell, she told me that she's fine now. She's fine now yes, in the hospital. Yes, and then she herself came in with back pain, waist pain, and is now healed. healed. Yes, sir. Give Jesus a big hand of praise. In the name of Jesus, God has perfected your health and your mother will be discharged tomorrow. Amen. Clap your hands and give Jesus praise. Have you been blessed so far? Please rise on your feet. We are going to close now. I'm going to speak over your lives and then I'll make an altar call. Is that okay? Or let me make... We let have me make... an online testimony. Yes. Someone who is following online, having chest pain and body pains and is now completely healed to the glory of God. From where? From Meduguri here. Okay, following online. Yes, sir. Clap your hands and give Jesus praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me make the altar call first. Then I'll speak over your lives. In five minutes, we should be done. Have you been blessed today? Do you know the doer of all these miracles? Shout his name. Let the devil hear you. Yeah. Now wave your hands and give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. There's a song I want to sing while I make the altar call. If you are here and you want to have a relationship with Jesus, you want him to be your Lord and Savior, please no movement everywhere. Just be still for a moment. You want Jesus to come into your heart and to reign in your life. You want to know him and you want to serve him. Or you used to be born again and you don't understand yourself again now. This is an opportunity for you to rededicate your life. I'm going to sing a song. And while I sing that song, please step forward. Carry your bag, your Bibles, anything you came with, and step forward quickly, and I'm going to pray for you. And I want us to celebrate them as they come. I have made up my mind To serve you for life Breathe on me Oh Lord, breathe. It's a call to salvation. Keep clapping, they are coming. Don't wait to be the last. Breathe on me. Oh Lord, breathe on. Don't wait to be the last. Run to Jesus. He wants to give you a new life. He wants to begin afresh with you. You might celebrate Jesus for souls. I have made up my mind. To serve you for life, read on me. Sing it one more time. Read on me, go read on me. Read on me. Say, read on me, Lord. I surrender to you as my all in all. I I have made up my mind to serve you for life. Breathe on me, oh Lord, breathe on me.
Can we give God a hand of praise for this ones? Hear me. I'm always gladdened in every of our services, not only in miracle services, when people respond to the call of salvation. The Bible says that God does not desire that any man should perish, but that all men will be saved and will come to the knowledge of the truth. Can you stretch your hands towards these wonderful people and pray for them passionately from your heart that God who has saved you and preserved you will preserve them. Those of you in front, please put your right hand on your chest. Pray this prayer with me. Mean it from the depth of your heart and say it out loud. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I repent of my sin. I receive you into my heart as my Lord and my Savior. Help me to love you. Help me to serve you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Now please lift your two hands. Close your eyes. Let me pray for you. Father, I stretch my hands to these ones. We declare by the authority of Scripture that their sins are forgiven. Let the power of sin be broken off their life. Let the power of addiction be broken off their life. Let the power of death be broken off their life. From today, by your Holy Spirit, they walk in their new life in Christ Jesus. They will grow to love you and to serve you and to know you. And through them, many more souls will be brought into the kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Look at me. You are now born again. To be born again means to be born of the Spirit. The Spirit of God now lives inside of you. It means you now have a new life. And we want to help you to grow, to know God, to love Him, and to serve Him. All right? So the first thing you will do for me is do yourself a favor. Every Sunday, make sure you are here. So you can hear the word and grow. And your life will never be the same. In Jesus' name. Please turn to your left. There's a lady waving her hand. She will direct you to our counselors. Walk straight to her and they will attend to you. Let's celebrate them as they go. Let's celebrate them as they go. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate them as they go. Amen. Now hold the hands of your neighbor. I'm about to release the final blessing on you before you go. Just hold one neighbor. Just one neighbor. I want you to pray in the spirit for one minute. This is one more moment to ask God for something. Hold that neighbor's hand and pray in the spirit. Just one more moment to ask the Lord for something. It's a new season. Keep praying. 60 more seconds. It's a new day. Fresh anointing. It's flowing my way. The season of power. And prosperity. It's a new season. In Jesus' name. Now lift up your two hands. I want you to say amen with every strength that you still have left. I stand by the authority that is in the name of Jesus. By this apostolic and prophetic anointing. Here at this September's miracle service in the year 2024. And I prophesy over your life. I prophesy over everything that concerns you. That in the name of Jesus, a new door has opened for you. I declare a new door has opened for you. Step into that open door in the name of Jesus. Hear me? Every spirit of failure at the edge of breakthrough is about to happen, is about to click, and then everything scatters. 
from today it leaves your life never to return again I cause that spirit to leave your life from today in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 66 verse 9 shall I cause to bring to birth and not cause to bring forth it says shall I cross to bring forth and then shut your womb if God has brought you to the season of breakthrough you must enter that season no plan of the enemy will rob you of what God has decided concerning you receive it in the name of Jesus I bring an end to every form of lack impoverishment the spirit of poverty in fact the Lord said to me the spirit of perpetual poverty I curse it from your life in the name of Jesus there are spirits that in families that no matter what you do you can never have enough from today that spirit lives your life never to return in the name of Jesus Christ for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich yet for your sake he became poor that through his poverty you will become rich and God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that you having all and in all sufficiency may abound to every good work the grace to have more than enough receive it right now the Bible says a feast is made for laughter and wine for merry but money answered to all things the grace that will make money answer to you receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus every manipulation of witchcraft around your life knowingly or unknowingly to you from today I call on the Lord of Sabbaths let him arise and judge your enemies everything that was fired against you let it return back to hell in the name of Jesus Christ I said everything that was fired against you returns back to hell in the name of Jesus Christ listen to me I roll away from your life the veil of shame reproach and disgrace the veil of shame reproach and disgrace is rolled off your life you are not a victim from today you are a victor I shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost to go from being depending on others to being a support system yourself the grace the favor and the wisdom that commands that to manifest receive it right now receive it in the name of Jesus listen to me I'm still praying for you every battle that is against you anyone that has conspired against you Nahum chapter 1 verse 7 he say the Lord is good a stronghold in the day of trouble in verse 9 he said what do you conspire against the Lord he shall make an utter end of it affliction shall not rise the second time listen I prophesy to you and your family every conspiracy of hell against you either through human beings or spirit by the power of resurrection and by the mystery of the blood let that battle be overturned in your favor I say let that battle be overturned in your favor anyone ganging up against you they will fight themselves in the name of Jesus anyone that gathers against you will scatter and fall for your sake in the name of Jesus Christ you will not be a victim of accidents we have entered what they call in Africa the ember months but I declare again over your life Psalms 121 verse 7 and 8 it says the Lord preserve you from all evil Amen. I say the Lord preserve you from all evil Amen. I secure your life and destiny under the blood of Jesus Amen. the Lord preserve your going out and your coming in Amen. you will go out and you will return back Amen. you will travel and you will return safely 
I declare over your life, your spouse, your children, your parents, your siblings, that from now till 31st December, they are preserved from evil. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that you are more than a conqueror. The grace of God is at work in your life. Put your right hand on your head. From today, the wisdom to take responsibility for your life. And by so doing, begin to command results. Let that wisdom rest upon your life from today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke the spirit of laziness, complacency, mediocrity. From today, the same courage that was in Joshua and Caleb, receive it in the name of Jesus. In Jephthah chapter 12, in verse 2, Jephthah told his brothers, he said, when I saw that no one would come to help me, he said, I took my life in my hands. Do you have that scripture? He said, I took my life in my hands. It means taking responsibility for yourself. I declare in the name of Jesus that in this month, the courage to rise up and do what you need to do, to do exploits, receive it in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. It is well with your soul. No more depression. No more discouragement. Finally, I speak over your life. I activate the grace for favor. Ha, the kind of favor you have never seen in your life, you will see it in September. I say you will see it in the month of September. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is asking me to prophesy again for somebody. You know Ezekiel prophesied twice in Ezekiel 37. I say again, the favor you have never seen in your life, may it happen for you in September. May God open uncommon and impossible doors for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 115 and verse 14. It said, the Lord increase you more and more. Amen. You and your children, children. Amen. I declare it upon your life today. Amen. The Lord increase you more and more. Amen. Every seed you have sown, step into the harvest. Amen. May God reward the labor and the efforts of your hands. Amen. May God reward your skill and intelligence with progress. You are not a loser. You are a winner. You are a success. You will do mighty things for the kingdom. And finally, you will love the Lord like never before this month. Walk in new dimensions of the spirit. Become a sign and a wonder. Come into the revelations of the spirit. The word of God will open for you as you study this month. Every spirit of laziness in your spiritual life, it, it dies from your life forever. I said it dies from your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is well with you. Are you blessed tonight? Father, we give you the praise and glory. Blessed be your name. Clap your hands and give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Before we go, we are going to sing that song. You remember the song? Now, just these two announcements before we go. Are there buses waiting? All right. So, those of you going to... Hey, just go. Anywhere. There are buses there. You will find your route. Eh? Uh -huh. And if the bus is too full, we will we'll put you inside Kekena Pep so you can go. Why we believe God for your own cars in Jesus' name? In fact, God will bless somebody with a car this month. I add myself to the prophecy in Jesus' name. Amen. Has God been good to you today? Amen. Were you blessed? Amen. Now hear this. Our women's conference will be coming up in October. All right? And um, we, have done, we have done the little rebranding. It's no longer going to be called women's conference. It's going to be called women of valor conference. Women, are you excited? So, from next week, you'll see the dates 
Um, we are proposing for 25th to 27th, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's the last weekend of October. Are you excited for what God will do? I want you to also pray concerning our Abuja Glory Summit. It's happening this September on the 16th. All right? Amen. So we are going to be in the city of Abuja just one day. But much later, it's going to be maybe by monthly or maybe monthly. You know, Abuja people, they are very hungry. I was told that they have been praying and preparing. A lot of work is going on the ground. Amen? It will be streamed live so that we can watch, okay, from the comfort of our homes. So please send your prayers. And those of you who always love to give to the work of God, I love you. You have our Access Bank account. If you don't have it, walk to the PR stand. They will give it to you any seed you are sending for the Abuja program you can send it to that account maybe after this conference Abuja people will have their own account and those of you that can even fly to attend please meet us there and the name of God be glorified come with your transport money are you hearing what I'm saying uh -huh. don't say I will go apostle put me in hotel amen we'll put you in motel amen are you excited at what God is doing we are expanding amen um, I'm trusting God that somewhere in November, early November, we are going to have uh, the prophetic school in Yola. Somewhere early November. Are you hearing me? Maybe after miracle service, we are going to have two days prophetic school. And then next year, we are going to have Yola Glory Summit. All right? hear me as the ministry expands your life is expanding in the name of jesus i didn't say i'm traveling i didn't say i'm leaving i'm not relocating i still day here are you hearing me i day can be so please let not your heart be uh -huh. amen and amen god bless you and then speaking of expansion and enlargement join our warfare prayers for enlargement prayers uh, i said warfare prayers for enlargement tomorrow 5 a.m how many of you have been on that platform ah okay those of you that are not there youtube and facebook all right on my channel apostle jonathan lagang youtube facebook page 5 a.m every day put your alarm this night sleep as you go back home 5 a.m is fire rise are you hearing what i'm saying we have we have just six more days and it's going to be brutal are you hearing me there are people following from the United States. Abby, Timothy, you told me this morning a nurse from, is it Kansas City? Uh -huh. People follow from US, South Africa, from Australia. You, you are here, you are sleeping. If you sleep too much, God will take the prophet away. Oh. Amen. So 5 a.m. and God will bless you. Surely his goodness and mercy shall follow us. And we shall dwell. Eshe, 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 oh, eh. Sing it as you are living. Eshe, Eshe.